What it be, bros and bronies, this Razor, and welcome to Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. I was, before making this, I was doing a bit of a debate on what playthrough to do next. And since I somewhat recently finished Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, the Enhanced Edition of them, I figured that I would at least do a few videos to see how it goes and even though it doesn't really matter since I'm going to be doing a playthrough either way, so let's begin. He who fights with monsters shall... okay, don't let me read the whole thing. He did. Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Before playing Baldur's Gate One and Two, I didn't know anything about Baldur's Gate, and as I found out, as you can see there, it's a Dungeons and Dragons game, which I have never played Dungeons and Dragons until I played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, and I, I'm going to be doing a new character, since I don't think you can play as the character you've beaten the game on as like a new game plus. But I could be wrong, and these are the different portraits that you can have your character as. Uh, let's see... Who should I use? I guess I'll pick this one. And I could use a custom one if I wanted to. Uh, let's be... During my first playthrough, I played as an elf. This time I'm going to play as... Let's be a dwarf. Okay, class, cleric. Um, before I did this, there was a one that was that the best class was a paladin inquisitor. Which I think was... No, that's not it. Uh, cleric? Whoops. Maybe fighter slash thief? No? Hmm. I guess that's in the later games, so let's do... Unless it's because I'm playing as a dwarf, let's see if I can be a paladin inquisitor as an elf. Yeah, there's more options. Okay, and same there. Maybe here? No? Hmm. Okay, 
give me one minute and see what options I gotta pick for the Paladin Inquisitor, assuming it fits in this one. Okay, I figured it out. It turns out that it's a human-only class, which I'll show in just a second. Human, Paladin, and Inquisitor. And you're only limited to lawful good, so you can't be chaotic good, chaotic evil, and so on. During my first playthrough, I played as a... a Disciple of Dragons with Chaotic Good alignment, which I'm not sure if there's a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, point of having the alignments. And I'm not exactly sure what wisdom is for. It says that it's a prerequisite for priests, but it doesn't really narrow it down much. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can have much use for dexterity, so. Let's bring up Charisma a bit. Wisdom... Um... I think I'll keep Intelligence like that, and let's bring up Strength. Um... Never seen that before. And... Hmm. Can I bring this up? No, I can't. Can't bring up strength anymore. Oh, that's because it's the maximum. Um, I guess I'll bring up constitution and let's see here. Bring up longsword, two-handed, not the quarter staff. Uh, single and two-handed. Now for the appearance. That looks about normal. And let's have the... Just like that, and... Let's have it blue and gold. Or close to gold as I can get it. That looks gold enough. And now for the voice. Onward! Death to you all! Your life ends here. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. And that's the voice that I had for my first character. You got this coming! Let's give them a right thrashing. Get over here! Hmm. Kind of sounds like Kano from Mortal Kombat. Ha! Death comes for you! I don't know if these are from me DLC or not. Have at you! Batter them into bloody rubbish! Ah! Ah! Take them down! <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Since I had this for the my first character, I'm gonna pick. Let's give them a right thrashing. You what got this it? coming. Guess I'll have it as that. And let's name him Jack. All right. And for... so it doesn't take a very long time, I'm going to have it on story mode. I would have it on normal, but as I just said, I'd rather progress than be stuck Nestled on something. Nestled the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. 
Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your 20 years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Great, so we're now in the game. And give me one minute. Top of my to-do list. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. I just realized they didn't have the mic on. As uh, what I was saying was normally, well, I when I first played this, I kind of read, but sort of not. If that makes any sense, that the classes were restricted to specific weapons, like for the the mage or the sorcerer. I don't remember which one I chose. Was limited to a quarter staff. And I think slings and I think there was a third thing, but I don't remember how right now. Uh, let's see. Let's get that and some armor. can afford so there's a achievement for talking to all these tutors and there's a quest to do with him it's hard to find decent folk nowadays all right so let's do that real quick top of my to-do list and the guy he wants to scroll from is there he is let's pause and talk to him greetings young one there we are and before I start the next video I'm going to be talking to all these tutors because there's a achievement for talking to all of them before you leave top so of my to-do list so let's give him back his scroll. It's hard to find decent folk nowadays. Nice. And I guess with that, I'll call the video here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll be sure to make more. And also be sure to press the bell icon next to the subscribe button while you're subscribing so that you can get notified when I make videos. 
And if you got any hints, tips, or tricks on any of the playthroughs that I'm currently doing, which is this in Star Wars Republic Commando, be sure and let me know. And also, come follow me on Twitch that I'll put the link to my Twitch channel in the description shortly after this video is uploaded. And I stream on Wednesdays as well as on Saturdays and Sundays if I have the chance. So, until next time, later haters.